Nothing like taking a shit in some random person's home. But I need to stay focused. See, the Jeff show has the worst ratings in every show that I've ever made. It's not even my fucking fault. The show just sucks. That bastard sailor's been getting in the way of my destiny for too long, long now. That's it, Sailor Drips. After this next episode, you will die by my hand. Okay, let's fucking do this. Alright, Con, you ready for this episode? Yep. I hope you haven't forgotten, it's a very special one. It is? Because it's the musical oh, episode! Please don't actually. Oh, what a thrill to be the host of a subpar talk show with rating dangerously low. Only a couple dozen viewers tune in every time that I say, hey, hey, folks. It's a joy to be beloved by nobody on the earth for a show that no same person wants to watch. I wake up early every morning so that I can be the first to have an interview with us. That's why I slam my elbow on the table and ask guests about the book that they're writing. Every day's the same and there's a link that I would trade it for. And furthermore, I love having a subpar talk show. There's so much more that's like a store. After I say, hey, hey, folks. Nothing brings me more joy than when I am in this garage Making all of my guests cry Sure it doesn't really pay the rent But even still me and Carl are not content All the why enslaved the human race It blasted every building on the earth with my face I'm a changed man and with my co-host I can safely say hey hey folks Now that the song's over, we can start the interview Who's our guest for tonight? Uh... <laughs> Actually, it's time for a key change! Despite my heinous crimes, I feel surprisingly sublime I have killed, but no shame Sure, my past was right, but I don't let you let it affect my dreams to entertain Sure, it's hard to be beloved when you've done the things I've done I wronged innocence along the way, I know But I put it all behind me and I hope they'll do the same And just enjoy my subpar talk show I'm sure someday they'll say I'm one of the talk show Who's great in mind and something they'll know It'll be worth the wait, but for the time I guess I can just say It's my favorite phrase I say it every goddamn day Everyone knows just how it goes Every day I love Sailor Dress Show Hey, hey, folks! Welcome back to the Sailor Drift Show! In this episode, we're joined by a very special guest. Do you mean to say it? No. No, I got it. Today, we're joined by this pack of ravenous wolves who we've starved for weeks! Hi. Oh, this is... The wolves were yesterday's guests! Oh. 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 Alright, who's this? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Biff Stroganoff! Oh, careful. Biff! Thanks for coming on, Biff. So, tell, tell us about yourself. I, I love this show, and I'm really excited to be here. Folks, you already know what I'm about to ask. How about that book you're writing, huh? What? I was supposed to write a book? Oh, no, you don't. I mean, do you have one? No. What? Colin, you ask him something. So, Biff, what do you do for a living? I work, I'm a pizza delivery guy at the Castori Gym. Hey, Biff, I don't know if they can hear you on the on, on the mic, if you could just speak up a little bit. Yeah, I, I can, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's all right. You know, I mean, I mean we're, none of us You're are doing perfect. All right, I'm fine! Colin, can I, can I have a word with you in the, the other room? Yeah. He's a fucking mess, dude. Like, I, he, he's, he's so nervous. Where did we find this guy? The boss sends us all our interviewees. Wait, wait, I thought you got all our guests. 
Did you say interviewees? Yeah, I don't know where the boss gets all these guys. They're all lunatics. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're ridiculous. They, 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 they're awkward. They're, they, they have nothing important to say. They're, they freak me out. They're ugly, disgusting. I want to kill them. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yep. <sighs> what do you do? I, I, I told you, I deliver pizza. No, I mean, I mean, like, what's your gimmick? When, when are you gonna, like, you know, every guest on the show, they got some kind of, you know, you know, Colin, back me up on this. Yeah, there has been kind of a trend where the, why is the floor wet? Oh, Biff, tell me I didn't just pick. Oh, Biff, what the hell, man? What? What the? Ah! Oh my God! Oh, 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 Biff, no! Colin, no! Yet. Oh, who even was that guy? I don't know. Man, I'm getting pretty tired of this. Every episode we end up in mortal peril. Yep. But the viewers sure love it! How good did this one do? This episode had 12 less viewers than on average. 12 people? But that means only like 6 people watch. What was wrong with this one? Probably because of the musical number. What was, what was wrong with the musical number? It was fine, but I don't think people watch talk shows for the musical numbers. Every time you do one, the episode flops. Well, excuse me for trying to add some more culture to our episodes. I appreciate the effort, but it's clearly not doing us any good. We need people to watch the show if we're going to get another season. <sighs> Maybe I should just fight the gorilla again. The alien episode did really good. Maybe we... Oh. Hello? Colin, what's going on, bro? I feel like it's been a while. It's the boss. He can't see you. Uh, yeah, uh, great to hear from you, too. Uh, is there a reason you're calling? What, I can't talk to my favorite employee? And his, uh... His friend? Oh, well, what did you feel like talking about? I don't fucking know, man. Sports? The weather? Listen, Paula, do me a solid and, um... Just hand the phone to Sailor real quick. Yeah, sure. Hey, hey. You worthless piece of shit! That was our lowest rated episode ever! How many times do I have to tell you to stop singing on the show? I know, I'll do it again. Oh, don't worry. I know you won't. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Just make sure to tune in at 8 p.m. tonight. There's a new show that I think will be quite interested in. Okay. Oh, and Sailor, one more thing. Fuck you. HA! God, I can't stand this guy sometimes. Why does he want us to tune in at 8? I don't know, some new show he wants us to watch? I don't know, I guess I'll tune in. Welcome to the Sheldon Dream Show. I'm here with my wonderful co-host, Conan McDermott. Conan, come on over, mate. What the hell is this? What's the thing related to me? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a fantastic guest. Mr. G. Rilla! All right, all right. I gotta say, Mr. Rilla, it's really nice to have you. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your busy schedule to be joining us here today. All right, then. Mr. Rilla, we're absolutely ecstatic to have you here. Can I get you some champagne? All right, then. So how about that book you're writing? 
son of a bitch! Oh, that son of a TV, bitch! <laughs> we like to have fun here. All right, Conan. <laughs> Why don't you ask him a question now? You are my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. And might I say, you were looking absolutely ravishing there. <laughs> Thank you, Conan, you're too kind. So, Professor, is this your first time being on a talk show? Well, I must say, it does not show because you are doing magnificent. Can I get a round of applause for him? <laughs> because you're doing wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite all right, Jordan. It is your show after all. <laughs> no. It's our show. <laughs> all right then, where was I? Right, our lovely audience here tonight, which by the way, you look really lovely. I love that dress on you. I have an announcement to make. <laughs> And though this may be our first episode, or pilot episode, if you will, <laughs> I feel like I've grown so very personally attached with you tonight. Like I, like you're my sister, and I'm your older brother, looking after you. <laughs> so I'd like to make this announcement far earlier than we expected to. <laughs> Oh, I'm so nervous! Oh, don't worry about it, Conan. This is good news! Oh, the next episode of the Sheldon Dreeves Show will be hosting the Sheldon Dreeves Telethon! <laughs> That's right. Next episode, you can call in and donate any amount of money you would like. And if we reach one million dollars, <laughs> then we get to start the project. Sheldon Dreeves, the movie! <laughs> Son of a bitch! That son of a bitch! Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited! <laughs> As am I, Conan. I just can't wait. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. That's right. Make sure to tune into the Sheldon Dreams Show Telethon on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey guys, wearing cufflinks. I hate cufflinks. <laughs> What the hell was that? That show was complete garbage. That, that was awful. The only good part was the intro, and they took that from us entirely. Yeah, and then the... Uh, I'm timing. Oh. What, what, how, did, how did he green like that? What, what, that's not okay. Why aren't people watching that show? They had a live studio audience! Uh, we, we, we've never had a live studio audience! That Conan guy was a complete poindexter! And, and Sheldon was such an asshole! Oh, why would they let that on the air? Why? Why? Well, clearly they made the right decision because the audience was eating it up! No, 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 they definitely got paid off. L look up the reviews. L pull them up. They have an 11.24 out of 10 on IMDb. You're fucking with me! Look at this one! The Sheldon Dreeves Show is the first good talk show this network has ever seen. Perhaps it's time to get Sailor Drepses' horrific act off television in favor of this real quality programming. Who the hell said that? Uh, your grandma. What? I think the only thing we can do about this is just hope that excitement for it dies down. Well, that's not gonna happen, man. Look at their reviews. We, we've been doing the show for three years and we haven't even gotten a review, let alone a good one. Oh, actually, we did get this one. Y'all wanna know what, Sailor? Your talk show is the worst shit on TV! And I hope your entire set burned to the ground! And you better stop making my butthole in! I like that one. It's, it's constructive. Oh. Hello? Commander Cullen. What's going on, bro? It's the guy that pays your bills. Uh, is Sailor with you? Yeah, he's here. Okay, cool. I need you to go into another room. Because we're going to talk serious business from from manager to employee. Very serious business. Uh, okay. All right, I'm alone. Okay, come on. Hear me out, okay? You know I love you, right? You're my favorite employee. Easily. Easily. 
Now, the Colin McDonald show is the biggest success that the network has ever had. It put a good amount of money in my pocket, and I appreciate that. But, I'm sure you've probably seen, I've had a new success. Yeah, I saw. I can only imagine what you must be thinking after seeing that. Like, sure, it was cycled certain aspects of the Sailor Drip Show. Because there are good aspects to the Sailor Drip Show. It's just the only problem is Sailor himself. He's a fucking asshole. And he doesn't know how to do things on camera. What? No, he's not what's wrong with the show. He's more passionate about it than anyone. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I adore the guy. He's just not cut out for TV. And I don't want to alarm you, but his inherent unlikability is starting to rub off on you. Listen, man, your association with Sailor has just been uh, a slippery slope. People are not liking you the way they used to. So I have a proposition. The Sheldon Dream Show is great, but it's missing something. It needs a co-co-host. Someone to play off of the jokes of the guy who's playing off of the jokes. No. Okay, don't be so hasty. Imagine how successful the show would be if you were on there too. No, I'm not doing it. Sailor and I are a team. And if you've got a problem with him, then you got a problem with me. <laughs> okay, wow. I was really hoping that you weren't going to say that. But, um, I don't want to have to do this. You're really pulling on my leg here. <clears throat> but as of this phone call, the Sailor Drip show is canceled. What? No, you can't do that. The I can't do that. I can't do that! Wow! You're so right! I feel like that was the big problem the entire time while you were working with me, Colin. You felt as if there were things that I couldn't do. I can do whatever I want. How am I gonna break the news to him? Relax. I'll take care of it. Like I always do. So what are we gonna do? We could do another musical number. Oh, I don't... I don't think that's... How's that gonna help? It's not really like that. A job and a passion I could always depend on my talk show that's what I need I've taken for granted the guests that have ranted and raved about wanting to kill me the cold opens and interviews all the guests I still had queued for my talk show. That's what I need. Wish I could slow down the hands of time. Keep things the way they were. If Colin said so, I would even start to show some for my guest Who knew my finale Would play out so sadly Instead of with a bang like I dreamed Despite all the scandals I never thought they'd cancel My talk show That's what There's just been airing reruns of their 
first episode all week. Put, put something else on. Uh, Fresh Prince Marathon. Yeah, do that. Alright. Power went out. Oh. How much money do we have left? $24.44. Uh, guess we'll have to resort to candles. Can we afford candles? No. Sheldon's gonna be so proud of me. Show that the fire was deliberately started. Well, do we have any leads on who could have done it? It's not really my place to say, but given this guy's criminal history, it's probably not hard to see. Why would I burn my own set down twice? I'm not accusing you of anything, sir. Yes, you are! I did manage to recover this. Oh, thank you. It doesn't work anymore because I kicked it really hard. Oh. As for you, you can go and rummage in there all by yourself. Do you have a problem with me? No. Did you get all that from the fire? Yeah, nothing that great though. Oh, actually, first, I did find my suit jacket. Well, what else did you get? Um... Not much. Let's see, I got Urkel, uh, Pig Mask, DVD. Still got some of this. Uh, wait, wait, why do you still have that? It was a gift. I can't get rid of it. From who? Our boss. Wait, our, our boss gave you incredibly dangerous mind control serum? I mean, I wouldn't call it that dangerous. I used it and it barely even worked. They were just saying all hell Satan the whole time. Wait a minute. That explains it. What? Why would he have that? Why would he give that to you? What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he... Oh, pizza! Here's your pizza! There you go! <coughs> oh, I got in the drinks! Oh! Oh, where's the wine? Oh! This one's on the house. Alright, is there anything else I can get you guys? Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thank you. Okay, if you need anything, just yell really loud! Ashy Pizza. Have you found a job yet? Yeah, they're gonna pay me to stand in a cage at the circus. 
What about you? Have you found a job? Oh, you're clowning again? No. Yeah, it's it's what it is. <sighs> well, is it at least paying well? Does this answer your question? <laughs> no. Closing time in ten minutes. Uh, hey, Max. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Look, me and Colin just lost our home in a fire. I is there any way you could give us somewhere to stay? We'll pay rent. We'll do anything. <sighs> I know how you feel. When I moved here to America from New Jersey, I was homeless for three years. Look, I know it ain't much, but there's a really nice bench a few miles from here. I can't drive you there, but I think it's north-ish. Thanks. You did anything. I just can't wrap my head around it. Why would he give you this? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a cufflink. It's a piece of jewelry manufactured from a variety of materials that's used to secure the cuffs of dress shirts and- But where did you find it? It was directly outside of our house. I, I think on the exact spot that the fire started. Oh my god. Sheldon. Conan. I take it the two of you have followed my orders? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Yes, we did. Thank you very much, boss man. Drop the accent. Yes, sir. Now, the only thing you gotta worry about is phase two. The only thing that you guys gotta do is just put on a good show. We have to make one million dollars of this telethon and not a single penny less. So we can make our movie, right? No, not so you can make a fucking movie. Just. Just make sure that the telethon goes well. Okay? Or I will mutilate your souls for the rest of eternity. I like doing the accent. As do I, Homeless in Tahiti doesn't sound too bad. Sheldon Conan, they 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 tried to kill us. They Closing time! I'm spending the weekend in Tahiti alone in my three-bedroom beach house. Oh, oh, I hope you guys find somewhere to stay. I'll I'll keep you in my prayers. You wanna go find that bench he was talking about? Well, isn't it a bit too <laughs> That's not our glasses. I don't, I don't know where we're going to stay tonight, Colin. I really don't. Uh, come here! Uh, yeah, okay, sailor, let's go. We're not done. No. What? Who are you? I'm just a normal guy. Well, a, a normal guy, huh? So a normal guy wears that? I was feeling a bit chilly. Burr. What's with all the ominous fog? Sorry about that. I've been trying to quit since freshman year. I, I trust this guy fully. Huh? Damn. All out. Sheldon Dreaves and Conan McDermott burned your house down with you inside. They tried to kill you. I know how you can get back at them. Why, why are you helping us? Because... Uh, you see, you see, a fuck just like this. All right, Sailor, here's what you're gonna fucking do. All right, I need you to take the bus down this route, and once you get to this big red-ass building, you need to go through the back door. Do not go through any other door but the back door. God, that, Colin, that's really close. Huh? We can go. Come on, come on. Wait, wait, I didn't see the vision. Hang on. Wait, what? Wait, wait, where, where are we going? I don't even know what the hell, what, what's going on. Colin, I know where Sheldon and Conan set is now. Uh, you know what that means? We can get our revenge. Wait, revenge? What do you mean revenge? We can kill them. Wait, hey, wait, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Wait.
Excellent. You have served me well. At long last, I will get to watch the crimson blood drip from Sailor Drips' neck. That's a bit much. Okay, if you're not gonna support my evil tirades, then you can just get the fuck out of here. As you wish. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. I parked on that side. Sailor Drips, and by extension, Colin. Once you walk through that door, you'll finally be out of my non-existent hair. Permanently. And then, this telethon can go without any issues. What do you plan on actually doing when we get there? I don't know, we could like, set their building on fire? Sailor, you're not thinking this through. If we want to stop these guys, we can't just try the same thing that they did on us. It's too risky. And what of the innocent uh, people in the audience? They would burn too. Well, I mean, I didn't think about that. We need to make them snap. We need to bring out the worst in them. I've been told I often bring out the worst in people. Exactly. Now think about our show. What is by far everyone's least favorite part of it? I don't think people want the dark shows through the musical numbers. Every time you do one, the episode flies. I know what I need to do. the bus. Any second now, they'll cluelessly walk through that door, and their souls will be mine. There it is, Colin. A set of the Sheldon Dreaves show. drive by this building like every day. I just always thought it was a Kmart. Well, here's the door they told us to go through. I mean, well, if we're sneaking in, we should probably go through, like, the window. That's a good idea. Any second now. perfect day to forget my fucking watch. Wow. Alright, we gotta be real quiet, because we, we don't know who could be... Sitting here for 20 fucking minutes trying to get the show on the goddamn road, and you're not here sitting here by the time the fucking stupid bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> howdy ho, folks! <laughs> Welcome back to the Sheldon Dream Show Telethon Edition. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get this show on the road. You see that number on the bottom of your screen? If you call that in this very special edition of the Sheldon Dream Show, you can donate as much money as you see fit. Remember, kids, the today's goal is one million dollars! <laughs> Alright, let's get the show on the road. Isn't that right, Connor? It's coded. Now, without further ado, our first guest tonight, Oprah Winfrey! <laughs> In this college, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No, yeah. that's not Oprah. All right, yeah. Let's do this. Well, all right then. <laughs> all right then, Oprah. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? What are you doing here, mate? Well, you invited us. Of course we're here. Okay, hey, hey, Conan, you mind if I, you mind if I play something, Conan? Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. 
I hardly think that's professional. Oh, no, 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 that's no way to treat your guests, pal. That's no way Go to ahead, treat your guests. Go ahead, Conan. Sit back down now. Actually, you know what, Conan? No, don't sit back down. You can't tell me what to do. Actually, yes, I can, because you know what? This is actually my show now. Here yeah, you. Uh, hey, hey, folks, welcome back to the Sailor Dread Show. What do you think of the new set? Pretty nice, huh? I'm joined today by these two fine gentlemen right here. Give them a hand, folks. All right, Colin, you know what? While we're here, why don't you play a little something? That's wonderful. Get out of my chair! You know what, you know, I, I, I will get out of the chair, but not because you told me to. I actually have something to show you all. Colin, if you will. Wow, that show fucking stinks. This is fucking bullshit! Is this what TV is now? This is fucking horrible. Holy crap, that's amazing. I love this. You're, yeah, you're, you're right, this sucks. I can't take it anymore! Ah! This is worse than NASCON. It's the biggest piece of shit on television. It is worse than... Yeah, y'all yeah, Excellent work, Sailor and Colin. Oh, Colin, it's the boss! Boss, they're demons! They're gonna kill us! I'm quite aware. What? What do you mean you know? You know, you've done quite a number on my telethon, you know that, eh? I mean, I'm a whole penny short of a million dollars. Now how am I gonna make a million dollars? Oh, oh, what's that? What's that over there? What's that? Wait, wait, what do I see? What, what's it? Wait, what? Hey, that's my wallet! Ah, one penny. And with this, I'll have one million dollars. Fine. Go do your movie. Movie? <laughs> Sailor, you are so goddamn stupid, it's unbelievable. This is about way more than a stupid fucking movie. Oh, you're saying I knew it. Tonak's so surprised. I, I knew it. I, I bet you were the one who burned down the season one set, too. No, that, that one was actually you. Oh. Who gives a shit? None of that even matters anymore. Because... I have one million dollars in this fucking pocket, bitch! Woo! And there's nothing that you can do about it. <laughs> and finally! That gives me just enough money to fund my next project. 
You're gonna like this one, trust me. I've been working on it for like three years. The Union of Hell and Earth! What? Calling my Caucasian comrade. What happened? We were cool. We were like this. <sighs> but it was your loyalty to sailors, reps of all people. That guy's a piece of shit. And now your soul has to be tortured for all eternity. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> no, Colin! Why? This should have been me, not him! That can be arranged. <laughs> Nine, please. So, uh, how long have you been Satan for? Since the beginning of time. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> I'm sorry. I spent so long hating you. I, but I don't even know why. From the start, I mean, I, I forced you to be on the show. You didn't want to fight me. I didn't want to fight you, but I did. Just for some stupid ratings. You were just minding your own business and I attacked you because I thought you were a terrorist. I thought you burned down my set, but it was me. I burned it down. God. All of our fights. It's been me. I've been the one starting them. What's wrong with me? What are you doing? Feels good to finally bury the hatchet. So that's how I'm getting out of this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that God wasn't real. I met Satan today, okay? I, I, I admit it, I was wrong. That's, uh, five! That's five down! Oh my god! Listen, I really want to apologize to you for, I, I guess, saying that you weren't George Lopez, but you... You're not George Lopez! But I'm telling you, there's absolutely no way that you're George Lopez. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. I gotta say, I'm I'm sincerely sorry that I doubted you. Stay back, I'm warning you! Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything to you. I th I I think I was like pretty nice. I know you. You're the you're the guy I hit with that shovel, and I I tied you up in my garage. Um, yeah, that I I really don't know what the fuck was going through my head when I did that. I'm gonna be honest. That was that was that was weird even for me. Whoa! Okay, put that down. Put that down. I'm sorry. You're a beautiful creature, and I tied you up, and I. I, I, I made fun of you for entertainment, and I, that wasn't okay. I shouldn't have done it, and I regret it. <sighs> okay, that's everyone. Oh, Colin! Oh, thank God you're alright, I was worried about you. I, did you see me beat all those... Where's our boss at? Is he still, like, doing evil stuff? Oh. Oh, God. I've been dreading this. Because I, I gotta be honest, Cub, I don't know if an apology can fix this. I have done nothing but mistreat you since the day we met. When we met, I had nothing. And you took me in, and you were generous, you were gonna give me a job on your talk show, and I, and I took that from you. And what's worse is that even after I did that, I just, I treat you like garbage all the time. I yell at you, I berate you, I never listen to you, I never respect you, and I, I'm never gonna be able to forgive myself for it because, I mean, you're you're my best friend. You're all that I've got. And if this is how I treat my best friend, then I, 
I, I really don't deserve you. I know I've got a long way to go before I really make this up to you, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Welcome to heaven, Sailor Dreps. You may be confused by my form, but I'm not Urkel. I am God. Come on, when did I piss you off? <laughs> oh, don't even get me started. But I am quite proud of you. You've made a great effort in bettering yourself by apologizing to those you have wronged. So I'm fully redeemed? What? No. I mean, you apologize for what you did wrong, but you haven't done anything positive with your life. But here is your chance to fix that. Now, my son, I want you to take a good look at this screen. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's Colin! What's he doing in there? He's gonna die! That's right, my son. He's going to die a fucking terrible and gruesome death. Unless you can save him. Now take this elevator to hell and make sure he survives. There's a lot of Colin fans in heaven. Oh, um... Are there any Sailor Dreps fans in heaven? Not even a single one! Oh my god, Colin, quick! Just give me... Give me one second! Just... Just one second! Ah, I can't hold him much longer! Just... Hang in there! Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's, it's, this is a good thing. I need to move on. Well, but how are we gonna make money? We, we're, we're still homeless. Where are we gonna live? I think I know a place. minutes have been horrific, but through it all, two noble jackasses risked their lives to save us all from certain doom, and we will all be forever grateful. But now, the whole world is wondering, where are Sailor and Colin now? This is it, Colin. Tahiti. You know, Sailor, I never minded your musical numbers. Really? Yeah, you know...